Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Connects with Sanu right side. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. On second down, Ryan. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. The Falcons on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Now Ryan. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Uh, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll indeed go for it with Ryan. And this is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Throwing is Wilson. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. This is caught, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and goal. To throw is Wilson. And this is going to be caught? No, they say it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. He can, and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. 
Russell Wilson. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. And that was just an old-fashioned scramble play, fourth and goal, and he willed his team into the end zone. And I just don't know how, on the other side of the ball, you keep your composure. You account for everything. You defend everything. And this guy finds a way to make a play on you. Can you tell? That just agitates me a little bit as a former defender. I know your hands are shaking. <laughs> Here's Walsh now to kick this one off. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Now the pitch to Freeman. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Again, they'll run with Freeman. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets him a new set of downs. Field now. Here's Ryan. Sanu with a grab over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. On first and 10, it's Ryan. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jones. And taking it to the 15 yard line before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. It's Coleman here. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Tevin Coleman taking it in from two yards out. And the Falcons cut into that lead. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just giving them a jersey, <laughs> but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because... The way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. On second down, here's Wilson. And a completion to Wilson. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because...